So I'm sitting outside my job, messing around on the internet, trying not to go to work today. And I see the story of Tom Segura stirring the pot with wrestling and wrestling fans. Here's the deal, Tom. I'm a lifelong wrestling fan. And perhaps it is not a legitimate competition between two athletes trying to win a fight. But if you can just pretend, do a little bit of make-believe like Mr. Rogers taught us, you'll find that cool things happen in wrestling on the regular that I wish would happen in regular sports. Regular, real sports. I want to see the Red Sox cut a promo on the Yankees about how all the Yankees and their mothers are a bunch of hard-ons, and this Friday night at Fenway Park, 40,000 of my closest friends are going to come watch us kick the crap out of you guys. You know what would make that game even better, though? If the Yankees had a mystery starting pitcher. Holy hell! Roger Clemens is back! Or how about you build up a nice, hot sports rivalry, and then one game you just happen to change the rules all of a sudden? It's going to be mayhem this weekend as the New York Knicks take on the Bulls in a Chicago Street Hoops matchup. A game with no traveling and no out-of-bounds. And just one time, I want to see a UFC corner man distract the referee so that Jim Miller can do a penalty kick to somebody's nutsack and get away with it. But what I really want to see is this year's Super Bowl coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any more intense than this. Tom Brady is one touchdown away from his sixth Super Bowl ring against his former team. It is fourth and goal on the New England three. There are four seconds left in the game. They line up. Brady takes the snap and he kneels it. Well, this doesn't make any sense at all. He's taken off his helmet. The game is over. And he's got his uniform. And, and he, he's got a New England t-shirt on. Bill Belichick is on the field. They're hugging. Tom Brady was playing for the Patriots the whole time. Nope. Wrestling's not real. It's better than real.